and let you look at sport. All right, thanks, Soph. Stay with us. Weather's next. Transform your home into a haven with cool, pure, clean air, creating a world of perfect comfort. Take your home to the next level with the Air Specialists. A stunning start to the week indeed, but we've got a big change on its way. Details in a moment. Let's go to one of the most photographed chapels in the country, and it has many moods. Here it is on a foggy morning, but the red of the changing leaves certainly punching through the fog, giving a very eerie feel to the Gosford Chapel from Jenny Rogers. The past 24 hours, wet weather has been very limited around the nation. We've seen some falls there over parts of the northern rivers, but today it was all all fine, lovely stuff, but here's our change. It is the most prominent weather feature on the satellite tonight. And there's cold air moving in behind this front that's going to slow down, but it's going to reach the Newcastle area. Then by tomorrow, uh, late afternoon, evening, it'll be reaching the Macquarie Coast. Ahead of it, it's going to be all fine. We'll start to see some late cloud increase. But once this system reaches us, the ball game is going to change. We're going to have see some very wet conditions emerge by the time we get to Wednesday because we've got a lot of cold air to come that high will drive in moisture laden onshore winds feeding a trough line that'll be sitting over that very warm east australian current and then we've got a deal that trough line is going to deepen and it's going to draw down a northwest moisture feed and then there's going to be an inland wet weather system that is going to link up with that coastal event and that is going to make that wet weather linger into the weekend and early next week some showers in brisbane sydney getting hit by the southerly early tomorrow morning reaching the southern new south wales coast it's cold in behind it right throughout the south east Adelaide fine. The Alice looking good. Dry in the north and Perth showers on the way as well. Locally we hit 25 glorious degrees. A little bit of a shower. They're rolling through very small, highly localised and didn't last for very long. Now tomorrow offshore winds first thing and uh, they will be lingering into the morning and then heating up and drawing back in the afternoon so light variable winds. A bit of an onshore switch in the afternoon but the morning is going to be absolutely glorious and most of the day is going to be fine. Starting to see some cloud increase and there's that change coming through in the overnight period into Wednesday. So we're going to squeeze another day out of this for us. So it's going to be warm, lovely conditions. We've got a little bit of cloud building. There's shower icons in there. There may be some prefrontal shower activity, but generally we're looking at a fine start. It's going to be a lovely beginning before that shift shuts things down towards the end of the day and tomorrow night. Swell at about a metre and a half, so small clean waves with the morning offshores. The sun will rise 6.13. So tomorrow we've got a very early high tide. We'll be hitting the low tomorrow morning at 7.20, then drawing back in during the afternoon. Swell over a metre out of the east. The wet weather building as we move towards the end of the week and over the weekend, there's some pretty decent accumulations on the way. Look at this. This is going to be unrelenting all the way into next week. And you can see periods of rain, moderate falls. There may be some heavy, isolated, uh, localised falls once all of that comes together, producing some pretty wet conditions at times right across the uh, northern rivers. So make the most of tomorrow while you can. Let's go to the beaches and check it out for a Monday. Diggers looking very nice. Oh, we've had some lovely conditions. Look, small clean waves throughout tomorrow with those westerlies. You might be able to pick up a piece of this kind of action on open beaches even. But after that, you've got the southerly. There will be a new swell and then it'll be back into the southern point breaks by the middle of the week. And that's your NBN News for the evening. From all of the team, have yourself a wonderful night.